What's the best plugin for WordPress to add social media sharing buttons and other important social media features to your website? In this video, you'll find out. Hello, I'm Shane Malach from activegrowth.com and Matt recently created a very in-depth review of social media plugins. I also had a run through these plugins and in this video, I want to give you a summary. So the question is, if you want to have social media sharing buttons and maybe share counters and things like that on your website, as you often see on news websites and various blogs, what's the best way to do that? These kinds of sharing buttons can play an important role in content marketing. If you're creating content to attract visitors and get people to know you and know your brand, then obviously you want to make it as easy as possible for visitors to share your content so they can send you more traffic. But if you go looking for social media button plugins for WordPress, you'll find that there are many of them, an overwhelming amount. So how do you choose the right one? Now in this article that we wrote, we go into great detail on everything that matters about the best plugins out there. This is an active growth review. After all, we are very, very thorough when we do a review. In this video, I want to keep it relatively short, so I'll give you a summary, an overview, and I'll tell you which plugin is the best one to use and why. And then if you want more details, you can check out the article. So first of all, how do we decide which is the best plugin? Now we have many factors that we tested these plugins against, but the most important ones are the following. Number one, speed. Your social media sharing plugin has to be as fast as possible. Your website has to be as fast as possible. So if you're adding some social buttons to it and it you know, makes everything load one second or two seconds slower or something like that, that is just not acceptable, right? This has to be as lean and fast as possible so it doesn't slow down your website. Number two, there has to be a mobile optimization component to it because if someone comes to your website on a large screen, then maybe you want to have fairly prominent sharing buttons but it's no good if on a smaller screen, like on a phone, you know, these sharing buttons end up taking up half the screen, right? That's actually terrible. So there has to be some way to optimize and maybe make a difference between this is what shows on desktop and this is what shows on a phone. Also, there are some sharing buttons like share on WhatsApp that only make sense on a phone. And there has to be some way to show that to visitors who are looking at your site on a phone, but not to visitors who are looking at your website on a desktop. Next up, we looked at GDPR compliance. So if you want to keep your website compliant with GDPR, which plugins help you do that and which ones don't. And then finally, of course, price. You don't want a social sharing plugin to break the bank. We looked at many social sharing plugins, but the first thing we did is we gave them a sniff test. We kind of had a look at, okay, what are the features? What do they look like? What can and can't you do? and we disqualified many of them just immediately. Basically, our goal was to only test the very best social media plugins and then decide which of those is the best one. So here are the candidates that made it into the final round of testing. We tested Mash Share, Monarch by Elegant Themes, Shareaholic, Ultimately Social, Social Warfare, Sumo, and Easy Social Share Buttons. Now, instead of going through all the details, let me just tell you which plugins we disqualified and why. So first up, Sumo and ultimately Social both dropped out of the race because they're too heavy and too slow. So out of all the plugins we compared, most of them had very little impact on your page loading time, which is good. But the native social share buttons, so if you use the official social share buttons from sites like Facebook and Twitter and so on, those are the worst. Those are super slow. Don't use those. But then, so those were definitely too slow, but then Sumo also slowed down the site significantly and ultimately social also had this problem that it just made pages noticeably slower. So those are out of the race. Next up, Shareaholic. We disqualified this one because it's not really mobile responsive. It acts weird basically on smaller screens. It doesn't really have the kind of mobile options we were looking for and that some of the other plugins have. And also we're not entirely convinced that they're GDPR compliant. They, they say we found one statement saying, yes, we are GDPR compliant, but no explanation of what they did, whether they updated their plugin or you know, exactly how they're making sure your site stays compliant. So we don't really trust their word on that yet. 
but because of both of those reasons, it just doesn't compete with the better plugins in the roundup, so Shareaholic is disqualified. Next up, we have Monarch by Elegant Themes. Now, Monarch is a really competent social sharing plugin. It, it does almost everything well. It does few things. It's not like the best at anything, but you know, it does things really well. And it's also very well designed, has a nice user interface. There's really not much wrong with it. The only reason that we can't recommend it is because it's only available as part of the Elegant Themes membership. Now, if you already are an Elegant Themes member because you want to use their builder or something else that they make, then you can go ahead and use Monarch as well, and I think you'll be happy with it. For most cases, this is good enough. However, it is not worth getting, so the price of the Elegant Themes membership is just not worth it just for Monarch. And that's something you need to be aware of, right? So if, if you're not already using the other tools by Elegant Themes, it's just the price, right? If this was available at a lower price, we'd recommend it, but because it's only available at this entire package, membership kind of thing, it is just not worth the price on its own. Now we're getting into the realm of the really good plugins. And the first of those is Mass Share. It has many features, it's well designed, it generally is a competent plugin. There are two problems with it. First of all, in order for it to be GDPR compliant, you have to turn off its counter feature. And it's not clear whether they're going to fix this. It's not clear whether they're actually going to make it compatible, you know, updated so that you can have the counters that show how many people have shared something and have it still be GDPR compliant. So that's a drawback. The other thing is the pricing model, the business model of, of MassShare is a bit annoying. Basically, the way it works is you have a free base plugin and then about a billion add-ons. And it just constantly keeps upselling you on these add-ons. And even if you've bought all of them, it still upsells you on more of them. And they're also very pricey. Like once you, you know, once you combine a bunch of these add-ons to match the features of some of these other plugins, it becomes incredibly expensive. And that's just one of the things where, you know, it's not bad. So MashAir is not a bad plugin, but it's just not the best. Next up, we have Social Warfare. Now, Social Warfare is a very competent plugin. It focuses on the right things, for example, speed, and it is really a fairly fast plugin. It's also quite user-friendly. It's not like overwhelming with options like some of the others. And in general, like with, for example, Monarch or MassShare, it basically does most things well. Where it doesn't do so well is, again, on the mobile side, the way it is mobile responsive, some of the button designs, I wasn't super thrilled about that. Some of the customization and mobile options just cannot quite keep up with some of the other plugins. In our search into this, and into the support forums and so on, we also found some technical issues. And we got the impression that if you do have a technical issue with this plugin, it might take a long time before you get any help with it or before they do anything with it. Combine that with the fact that it's only available at a recurring yearly subscription cost, even though it's not very expensive, but still you have to get on a subscription to use this. And that kind of disqualifies it. Again, it's not a bad plugin, not at all. In fact, I think it's really good but it's just not the best. And that leaves us with only one winner. Last plugin standing is Easy Social Share Buttons. Now, Easy Social Share Buttons basically does everything. It has an option for everything. It is the most customizable, the most mobile responsive, the plugin that gives you the most features in one package, no upsells, no, none of this kind of stuff. It gives you the most features in one package. It is super competent and you can basically make it do whatever you want it to do. And it has the most like additional special features that other plugins just don't have. The one downside of this plugin is its complexity. It has about a million screens with options and settings and conditional settings and extra settings and if this then that kind of setting. It's, it's really, it can get quite overwhelming. But that's really the only downside. And especially considering its price, it is actually the cheapest option here. It's the cheapest premium plugin you can get. You can get it for, I think, $19, although I ended up paying $22 for it, I think, because there's some processing fee or something. But anyway, less than $25, one-time payment, you get this whole thing, and it does everything. And it's, you know, it's well-designed, it's super customizable, it's mobile responsive, it's GDPR compliant. It basically does everything that we cared about, everything that's important for social buttons on your website. And combined with the low cost and the only downside being some complexity, this is simply the winning candidate. So there you go. That is how we arrive at the recommendation of Easy Social Share Buttons as the plugin to use for social sharing on your WordPress website. 
Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link below to get to the article where you can see all the details. You can also get the links to all of these different plugins. And if you're checking this out on Active Growth, you can just scroll down to see the review with all the details packed in there and our conclusions at the bottom if you want a reference for that. Now, also, if you appreciate the work that we've done in this review, then click on one of the links in our review to make your purchase. Those are affiliate links. Doesn't cost you anything to use those, but if you want to kick a buck our way for the work we've done, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions or comments or feedback about this. Just leave a comment below. Thank you very much. I'm Shane from Active Growth and I'll see you next time.